thought maybe she ate up a brush because she sounds a little funny. The good news is Napper has one, uh, although they're not willing to sponsor us yet. This doesn't have any screws holding together. It looks like it is crimped together as far as holding all the jiggly bits in. Well, we got to save this because there was two options. They had the blower motor with the wheel and without the wheel. We ordered the one with the wheel, but we're going to save the wheel in case we really need it in the end. <laughs> you see what I did there? So we'll stick that to the side. Oh, we're just screwing off at this point, folks. Just like working on a Tesla. Does this make me a hybrid mechanic? Probably not. Probably shouldn't say anything until we get it together. Get it together, man. Yeah, the bushings all beat out of the end of it. I don't think that's going to be a no parts required fix. Sorry, Ivan. Sorry to let you down, buddy. Oh, yeah, she's poached. That's uh, what used to be the bearing. That's pretty well screwed. This should be our brushes here, yep. Got to keep them from flying out all over the place. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. Plenty of brushes left. Just the bearing screwed. I don't know if we can get the connector up out of there. Yeah, probably not without breaking it. Go full destruction mode. That bearing seized right up tight. Tight like a tiger. brush pack. Well, that's fun. This is just like that channel where they rebuild everything. Mm. That little bearing, that one's still good. So this one on the end, that's what this one's supposed to look like. Look how much the brushes have wore into that. If we had a lathe, we could turn that all down and renew the whole thing. But we don't. Just kind of fun to see some of this stuff, you know? That's a pretty soft material, whatever that whatever they made that bearing material out of. Seems like our pliers kind of cut into it a little bit easy. Now we can probably smooth that up, stick that baby right back in. So, I did a little shaft polishing off camera. And the little bushings there, they fit on that baby smooth now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if we were in the pits of Siberia or State College, Pennsylvania, we might have a no parts required fix here, folks. This, however, getting this bushing back down in its little holder I think it's going to prove to be somewhat difficult. The rear bushing is reinstalled uh, with two giant permanent magnets in the way using all metallic tools. It's kind of interesting, not going to lie. The little finger retainer that holds it in. I found it uh, just as well to take that thing out. Try to put your bushing in, but those magnets are strong. It was quite a little show. Wrong way, fella. Lubed up the wrong shaft. Actually, this one goes through that side, right? So we'll put a little more lube on that. The completely wrong lube. So before you leave all your comments, we know that. But like I say, this thing's going in the garbage. Oh boy. If you want to feel like completely incompetent, put around with a magnet for a minute. 
where you at, baby. There she is. Woo! Got it. Perfect. Uh, I need to go to the vice. Mm-hmm. And then how do we go about getting our brushes down there? We'll get them kind of started like that. And I'll just hold this here, I guess. Oh, we'll use a little pocket screwdriver, perhaps. Just kind of flick them back, flick that one back, flick that one back, all right. Almost had it. Coming down on the old commutator there. Hey, look at that. First try. And then we already wiped a little lube on that. And then technically, we should be able to put this thing on. I don't know if it mattered which way it went. Probably pretty evenly spaced, isn't it? Is it? No, it's not. It actually is clocked. So now we got to find out the pattern. Perhaps it's that one. Nope, we only got one more shot at it. Oh yeah, first try. Boom. And then I don't know how we're going to repaint it over. I guess it doesn't matter. Does it spin? Oh yeah, she spins. This thing, oh, it's going to work. I can feel it. It looks like all they did. They just had it peened over here. I don't know how they do it in Siberia, but this is how we do it where I'm from. She's fully assembled now. Mint.